Hello, hello, how's everybody doing today? And good morning. I was actually contemplating if I should make this video or not because when I woke up this morning, a lot of, a lot of the things I laid out last night for me to make this video are not there. But, hey, the house is quiet, so here we are. So today we're gonna to talk about sounds sounds that we can get from this incredible drums. Some people prefer to play with their hands or fingers. Or some prefer to play with mallets. And this is usually the kind of mallets that comes with this uh, Amazon Tumu Alibaba drums. And usually they, it's basically um, a stick, either a wooden stick or a plastic um, handle stick and with like a rubber ball um, at, the end, at the end of it. And it sounds like this. All right, so this is playing with my fingers. This is playing with the mallets that usually comes with the drum when you purchase it. Okay, and now we have a mallet that actually covered in wool. This is the one that came with one of my tank drum, but I don't quite remember. But I did remember purchasing another pair. Um, I forgot where now. But, but anyway, so this is just to show you the sounds that's going to come up from these drums when you play it with a mallet or a wool covered mallet or a cloth covered mallet. It's a lot softer than playing with the mallets that comes with the drum. Although playing with the mallets that came with your drums, it's, uh, it's going to sound a lot, a lot louder. You can actually hear the metallic sounds from the drum as the tongues vibrates. Meanwhile, the, the covered mallets has a more muted tone and softer. Um, it's not going to be as loud as, as the um, rubber uh, tip mallet. So it all comes down to your personal preference. Do you like the softer, more muted sounds or you like the brighter, more ethereal sounds? Um, so today we can talk about if you have this, just this, and you want it to have that softer sounds, you can either go to Amazon, buy um, mallets that has cloth covering, or you can make your own. And it's very, very simple. Unfortunately, uh, the gloves that I, that I found, an old pair of gloves that I found um, yesterday that I laid out last night, was not there this morning and I couldn't find it. So I took my wife's gloves basically, but uh, you can actually go to any dollar store or any um, inexpen you know, inexpensive store um, uh, or um, if you have an old pair of gloves, this is perfect. And it's very, very easy. 
I'm not going to cut it, but I'm going to show you how. There are five fingers per glove. So what you do, you put your mallet, or you can basically you cut it here first. You cut off the um, finger, and then you put it in. It's that simple. You put it in. Okay, pretend that this is cut right here, all right? So, or you can cut it however you want it, whatever um, length um, that you want it. So, this is just one glove. Remember, you have multiple fingers here. So, you can play it. Now, test it out. All right, and here's the best part. Let's say you still find the sounds a little bit too bright. You want it a little bit more muted. You can actually layer it. You can actually layer this thing here. You can actually take, you know, since you have all these fingers uh, or the finger part of the gloves cut off, you can actually go with another one, which I'm going to do it here. I'm going to use the other gloves. And so you can layer it as many layers as you want until you find the sounds or the, uh, the softness that you need. So this is with, um, this is with two of the fingers from the gloves. I'm not gonna cut it. simple so you can actually layer it as again you can layer this on the mallet as many uh, layers as you want two three four if you prefer one that's fine as well depending you know get to get to the sound that you like from your mallet and from your drum and same you know ha uh, uh, ah, again just cut it right here and tie it with a rubber band eh? Here's the one that I couldn't find as well. I had a, a small rubber band uh, last night laid out and I can't find it. Must be the cat. But uh, what you do, basically, say if you cut it right here, and all you have to do is tie it. Yep, this is not the best looking since I don't have the smaller, thinner rubber band I'm using whatever I just found in the kitchen so and that's it all right guys you guys have a great day enjoy your drums bye